Uh, hello everyone, good afternoon. This is Maxine. Uh, thank you very much for Carol's introduction. Um, here, I want to uh, address this uh, NJI. So in the past, last two sections, Andy already covered how we, uh, how we connected uh, to the Ash, uh, to, uh, from Ash to the Cloud with uh, our product connectivity. And then we have Alan and uh, maybe talk about what is the, uh, 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 so many different uh, scenarios about the uh, Ash computing here. What I want to address is also on the Ash, but more focused on the AI. Here you see this uh, map showing all the, uh, the complex structure or about you know, what, uh, what AI is about. Okay? We have application here, we have training awareness on people's training or on cloud training, and we have inference here. This is uh, basically a, a very simple building block you can see uh, about AI. So uh, we already have so many big companies like Google's, like HPI, Dell, uh, and Apple here showing that what is uh, uh, what is all about and what is capable on the training. They do it, okay? They already show us what the, the, uh, the precision, the currency that we are, we are now ready to apply AI to the uh, to, to to the real application. So it is also why we want to address the edge inference because this is what AI really happening and what is. The, uh, it is meaningful on the edge. Okay, uh, this is a product roadmap of our uh, edge AI solutions. You see that we have uh, acceler acceleration modules here. We are so focused on uh, the, the partnering with Intel. So right now we have the famous Movidius modules available in uh, M.2, mini PCIe, PCIe by four with different uh, co combination. One VPU, two VPU, uh, up to eight VPU. So uh, I think you already hear so many uh, introductions regarding uh, about the next generation of Intel solution here, the Kim Bay. We already are on the OES uh, program that we will have a co-launch together with Intel by the time frame or, or June June 2020. Okay. Uh, I want to address more about the uh, acceleration modules. So what is this about in acceleration modules? Uh, it is not something can stand alone. We can run by, by themselves. It is an acceleration module you put on top of the solution, the motherboard, the system you are using. This is what we want to do because we don't want to change everything you do. You have been working on one for your for your application. We just want to put a additional computing power so that it can dedicate to uh, on the uh, AI inferencing. This is what we. This is what about the uh, acceleration modules. So uh, this kind of acceleration modules should have the flexibility uh, uh, to our. Uh, um, to, uh, to to realize that what 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 you need to compute. So, like I said, that we have solution with one VPU, and if you need furthermore computing power, you can scalable it as, uh, to use two VPU. And uh, for a bigger scale, like uh, if I want to uh, if I want to recognize a facial recognition, uh, you know, everyone here in this room, like a hundred people, that we need more computing power so that we can. Have as this you know more VPU, like four or eight VPU together. So this is the establishing cast we have. Um, like I said, that what really matters is that you can quickly add this acceleration module to what we're using. Motherboard system. And yes, why we have this acceleration module into standard form factor is, is the key region, okay? We have on that too, mini PCIe, PCIe by 4 Those are popular uh, industrial interface that we already have even uh, mostly on every motherboard and every, every system, okay? And is that uh, not just on hardware interface, but also on the uh, operating system level support, okay? This Intel Molybius solution support popular OS from uh, Microsoft Windows 10, Ubuntu, CentOS, and Yacto, those a popular distribution of Linux so that you can quickly uh, uh, do your integration. And moreover, Intel has a very powerful uh, uh, inference of, uh, 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 software package which called Intel uh, OpenVINO Toolkits. This is 
is the uh, very important features that uh, 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 Intel or uh, while Intel developing their AI technology, which I'm going to uh, uh, talk to you or more about later. Okay, what about performance? Can you put a APU in the system? Then what they can do? Here is a little benchmarking uh, com uh, comparison with a, a desktop or Intel Core i processor. So this is one APU performance. Those are the uh, AI, very popular AI models. Okay, if you're running on a one APU, you can have a, a, a number of 57. Okay? It's about a frame per second. So here in this chart, the number higher would refer to a better performance. So um, um, as reference, this is a, a 45 watts uh, desktop Core i3 processor. So of course, the computing power is much better. Why? Because you pay $400 for this CPU. Right? OK, it's reasonable. But um, can we be able to do uh, possibly the same thing? Yes, you can have this. Uh, Scalable features. Here we have eight VPU to get computing, which is much better even on the Core i7 desktop processor. But if you talk about CRM, that's another story, okay? Um, but uh, another uh, another uh, problem building you can uh, you can look at about VPU is how much storage, per, uh, how much frame per second you're gonna get per hour. This is what uh, Intel wanna highlight. So in this case, this is a much uh, you know. Uh, cost-effective solution. This is a VPU. So again, the number higher, which means it's better. So you can have a better number over, uh, oh, okay. It's, uh, which means the per dollar value is approximately to an i7. Present here, okay? Another benchmark I want to show you is that Facebook, you already are, uh, heard about a lot about, okay? Uh, we have Facebook running on a uh, Intel Mobilis VPU, and another uh, comparison we are running on a Saron processor. So you can see that we can, uh, you know, uh, we only use 82.78 milliseconds to represent a face. And by a Saron CPU, which it much longer, so which means that you know running facial recognition is better on a VPU than a CPU. And another uh, scalable, uh, scalable feature to to show you is that okay, if you're running on one VPU to recognize a face, there's an 82 millisecond. But if you're running together on eight VPUs, you will shorten the time tremendously, especially when we have, like I said, that if I want to recognize everyone here in this room, about 100 person. I can have a VPU as, I, as my, my solution. Okay, or another benchmark quickly. That actually is the live demo we have out there. This is a uh, uh, NCTU is a university uh, they are doing the uh, um, a, uh, auto or auto driving or kind of uh, AI solution um, here that they are running with. Uh, on the uh, current seven processor, they are getting a, a result of 55 per second. But if we turn this model running on the two Mobius VPU, we get 21 frames per second. What well, I want to highlight is the performance is good, and also if we look at the price between these two solutions, you will see what I said that the are the, the, the you know frame per second advantage on the VPU. Okay, so VPU, well, what kind of protocol do you support? So we have many customers been using uh, NVIDIA for, for, for many years. Can I convert it to, to, to the Intel solution? My answer would be yes, why? You can see there is a major uh, frameworks that on the AI server, uh, AI world, okay? TensorFlow, Cafe, Onyx, MXDAP. These are the models which Intel VPU already support. Actually, cover the majority of the of the uh, AI world, so you can have the confidence. If you have customer using NVIDIA, you can ask them to try on this um, uh, Intel solution. Okay. Next, I want to show our to to uh, to show a few about our uh, application. So, another feature is very important about Intel NVIDIA is the low power uh, it has over uh, other solutions. And why we need low power? Because um, in this
this case, very good, is the AGV. What is the power from, for the AGV? It's from battery, okay? So you really care about the battery life. And this kind of AGV are widely adopted in the uh, e-commerce uh, logistics, like Amazon. Uh, so uh, thousands of AGV is uh, implemented in their logistic house and in the warehouse so that they can separate the, uh, all the uh, processes. Because like Amazon, they're claiming that they would like to have a 30 minutes delivery in the near future, in not my car. So you can imagine how many HV they need to, to, to make this happen. So uh, in the past, um, HV also uh, mostly used a uh, guided um, kind of uh, well to show uh, where the, the HV where to go. But now with the AI in the, uh, in the AI module, you can have the, sorry, they can have the AGV to decide where to go in the fastest way, the safest way, with a, a module inside. So you're not going to ask your customer to build a big AGV, right? They have the AGV, so what we, we can add on to accelerate this is to put a very compact size and low power internal video solution into what they have now. Our next is a uh, smart street light solution. This is the OEM project we have in our DDoS team. They build a, a computing board on the uh, Intel Atom solution. Already provides a very good connectivity to all the devices, including uh, sensors. They have LT modules for the connectivity. They have temperature humid, uh, humidity sensor. They have air uh, quality sensor and uh, LED control. And of course, a uh, camera here. So uh, in the past, they can only uh, you know they capture the, the videos from the camera. They can only uh, you know uh, transfer it to the uh, to the cloud and to the further computing, but actually they by applying a uh, additional internal basis module on the on the on the uh, street line, it can compute directly instantly that what's happening, especially uh, about the traffic. Like, is there illegal parking or is there any accident happening that uh, we can run inference or uh, instantly and then get the result back to the cloud and get further uh, you know, uh, handling the uh, the incident. Okay, our, it's all about modules and why we want to have system. Of course, we have customers they want to build a new application, so they want to start it from something where uh, more integrated. So here we have this, uh, a system solution that each with a, a particular target market, we have 800, uh, 100 targeting the interactive kiosks and uh, electric whiteboard kind of a retail, more retail uh, application. And we have other solution focusing on AGV and factory automation. Um, our Air 200 is a, a, a compact size, uh, fast solution uh, targeting those uh, in, in vehicle or traffic because of the uh, extent temperature and also the certification it, it already certified. And for the high computing, which uh, want to have like NVIDIA kind of uh, computing level for the uh, AI acceleration, here we have Air 300. This is another appreciation story I would like to share with you, which is actually the live demo we have uh, out there. Okay, um, this one, this uh, this uh, robotic arm is from a customer called uh, Techni. It is a leading or uh, collaborative robotic arm uh, uh, provider here in Taiwan. They already have the solution. They already have the root base. Uh, AI inspection, but what they want to do is implement the AI inferencing to do the optical inspection. Um, just like I said, they don't want to change anything for, to what they have because the community this moment is running very well. They don't want to change the system. But as this AI, you need a, a new system for training, right? Uh, like I said, that they found out that they don't even need a, a HP level or server computer with the young processor or a multiple GPU card. Instead, they find that using Air 300 with just one NVIDIA 2080 Ti GPU card as a, a training engine would be enough, would be more than enough. So this is why uh, how we are, uh, build this partnership. So they have their model, build it, train it, here on our Air 300, and then it would, uh, you know, uh, deploy the trainer model to the robotic arm controller. What they have it, which is the uh, Intel Core i7 desktop processor. Um, surprisingly, they don't need to change anything on their control box 
because they find adopting the all Intel Open Reno uh, to optimize their, their, their training model and it is, uh, they just need to utilize uh, a little bit of their CPU computing power would be enough to apply this AI uh, real-time inferencing. Okay, uh, I've been talking about Intel Open, Open Reno and I would like to address more about this. What it is, um, first we have to remember it's nothing about training. It's nothing about training. It's all about inference. Why do you, uh, why do you care about inference? Because um, you know, training has been a very big topic and everyone's taking good care of it. Um, but in the past, if you don't have open Reno and you have, uh, if you want to deploy your training model to the to the uh, to the edge, you have to install a complete uh, framework, a big package of software on the system. That's why you need a very uh, high computing power. Oh, but as I said, the open Reno were so focused on the inferencing. So what they have to is the model optimizer. Uh, which can convert and optimize your, tra your model, your trainer model, to be more simplified and more uh, easy to run on the, uh, no matter the CPU, the integrated GPU, or the VPU solution from Intel. So this is the, that's why they can uh, improve the, the inference performance. So from the uh, real-time deployment that we, we see that uh, using uh, OpenVINO to optimize the model, you can have about at least 15% to 30% on the computing performance of the, uh, of the AI result. And also, you can only use 20% from those traditional, you know, but putting the whole framework, uh, that's the memory capacity, it will go down to only 20% you used to have for this inference. This is very important. Again, open Windows supports so many topologies, so you have you don't have to worry about that. So what what you what you have been doing, what you have been trained, the model you build would be would be, would be a waste. You just simply adopt it on the open window so that um, TensorFlow, no problem. Again, mostly based on the NVIDIA architecture, Cafe, all makes understand. Okay, um, Azure AI Suite. What is Azure AI Suite? Why we need to have Azure as we because uh, we already have open you know, so powerful they're doing the inferencing. Why Advantix still you know using our resources to uh, to develop this Azure aspect? Because open you know, is just a toolkit, it's for developer. You know, if you're a, a very talented engineer and you have no you have no problem, you know, uh, getting the open you know, installed it, uh, have all the arguments to adjust. But in fact, if you're not, or you're just a traditional um, hardware vendor or an SI, you, if you want to get this set up, you probably need uh, maybe a two weeks or maybe a month to get to know all the interfaces or the arguments. You have to you have to spend that kind of time. But with this Edge AI suite, you just need to install the OS because we have. The open Reno or the settings or the uh, user-friendly interface into an application level package. You just install it, a few clicks, and you can uh, experience what um, AI and what open Reno is directly with a user-friendly uh, interface. And also, all the uh, uh, pre-trained model available on the open Reno will be available too. So uh, we have the version 1.0 available uh, together with our Vega uh, 330, 330 acceleration modules. And now we have an uh, enhancement, which is version 1.2. First, with an uh, update on the Open Window Toolkits, so that it can support what? Here the driver's hardware accelerations. Like I mentioned, not only BPU can do AI inferencing. CPU, GPU, you can use it all together, not only one device, but cross the uh, hydrogenous computing on the AI. So it will optimize the performance across these three devices from Intel. 
Okay, this is very important. And also, we uh, have a Yolo V3 Tiny benchmarking tool available on this version. So that, uh, uh, what's about uh, Yolo V3 Tiny? It's a very popular or uh, small or a small scale model which is used in the uh, object, object detection. Okay. But uh, to make it optimize it, actually there is a lot of uh, work to do. So we already package it into a, a small tool of this uh, inside of our edge as so the customer can can experience. You know, they can import their tiny V3 models into it and get optimized performance, maybe uh, like uh, 15 or 20 frames per second. And like I said, all in one store and set other features, and we still keep it. Okay, next is the software solution we have going to launch as the uh, first uh, AI based uh, or IDA app we have. Facebook. We, I think you all guys got a lot of introduction from Step Friend, from CyberLink CEO, and also from Intel about this. So it's a very high precision accuracy rate. 98.5% facial recognition engines. So if you guys already registered uh, out there, you know, and have registered, you can instantly experience it. You will recognize, you will be recognized by on the video wall and also on the demo. So accuracy, you know. And we think that this kind of facial recognition is, uh, is one of the uh, killer look app that for uh, so many uh, applications which should be integrated, like uh, for corporate or hospitality, retail, and bank and government. Here I wanted uh, to introduce you more about the functionality of this Facebook Mail app. First, we can, of course, we can identify visitors by our uh, pre-registered ID, and also we can, we provide a customer available on the uh, dashboard. So uh, by the end of this day, I will be able to know how many of you were registered, how many of you go in front of the, the cameras and stay and watching the result and, and uh, getting to know uh, all the things about face view. And we also provide interface for customer management. So this is a UI ready. So it's a dev, it's a dot app. Okay. Um, First, I want to share a professional story. I think Delta Wong already addressed a lot of about what they can what capable of. And one thing, uh, one application is a uh, access control. I think there are many of the uh, airports in uh, North Carolina. I said that the LAX already have it, have this facial recognition self boarding. Um, you have your boarding card, you have your face pre registered, then you can, you know, boarding. By yourself, you don't need to wait for the for the uh, passport check if you are the right person, if the uh, right person. So it's getting more popular, and pop, uh, more popular. Uh, but the key, of course, the key would be the current uh, currency rate of the uh, um, how uh, the recognizing a person, and uh, but not just for this. We can also facilitate this in the uh, you know the building building security. Okay, and also uh, in the morning that uh, Dr. Hunter addressed like the drug control, um, that, uh, that, that scenario you're not able to use your fingerprint as an identity. Okay, I uh, I've been repeatedly to say that we wanted to have additional AI features on top of what customers have. So here is what we want to mention, is the dot that we provide not just the uh, user interface we have here, those building blocks, but for integration, you will need an API to integrate into the access control system you're having, like what we're having here in Atlanta. You just need the engine, but you, you don't need to go over all things like opening the door or whatever. So this is a very important, that's why we call or, or just like our word that uh, Alan introduces the IDOL app. We have the dot Okay, um, a short uh, introduction about what the user interface we have. Like I said, that we have a dashboard visualizing the visitor behavior and uh, those records for the VIP. You can manage those uh, blacklist records. And here's is the uh, management or uh, interface. Yeah. 
Okay, I think that's all about phase view. So this is a short recap. Uh, recap. Edge AI solution. What we focus on right now is to enable the edge application, to enable the AI on the edge with our acceleration modules, our inference system, and also our software solution. And that's all my presentation. Thank you.